Hello, my pretties. How are you? Somebody taking a power back, okay? Somebody is taking a power back, whether male or female. I'm hearing early in the morning, I put breakfast on a table and make sure that your coffee has its sugar and cream. Your eggs are over easy. My grandmother used to make me sing this song for her <laughs> um, back in the day. And um, because I was little when I knew it. And that was just crazy to her. I got my pride. I will not cry. But it's making me weak. I'm not your superwoman. Somebody said, I'm not the kind of girl that you could lay down, is it? And think that everything's okay. Boy, I am only human. I'm only human. All right. Somebody said, I'm not doing nothing for you no more. Period. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not taking your orders no more. I'm not taking your chit chat. I just heard your back talk. I'm not taking it. I, this girl needs more than a occasional tokens of love. There's something where she's like, I need more. Okay, I need more. Listen, now let me talk to you about this energy of there's something negative here that I'm picking up, although it's coming up positive. There's something that I'm picking up um, between the lines. If you was dealing with a person, I'm not sure if you know, because what it's coming up as is a per it, like it, it's showing me that you may not have known or somebody around you or something like that may be going through this. There's a relationship here. And it's like a woman who threatened to leave at one point in time, right? Whenever she threatened to leave, this man decided to put something in her food or her smoke, her drink, whatever the case is. Okay, this woman is very uh, unaware. And one of the things, and one of the things that um that I'm hearing is this woman thought thought she was okay or thinks she's okay. If you're going through a situation where you think somebody may have put, done something like that, you could send me an email and I could tell you something maybe that you could drink to help you detox. I am not a doctor, okay? Um, but somebody needs a detox. Whoever this is, I, I just heard frozen. When your heart's not open. Somebody did something to close another person's heart chakra or to make them cold or to make them weak. I just heard to make them hate people. All right. Anyway, let's move forward. So somebody's definitely taking their power back. And um, this, this, this man here that I'm speaking about, or this could be a lover. It doesn't matter who this is. It could be a family member. It don't matter. But the thing about this person is, and this is heavy Leo energy, this person sees you in your glory. I don't know if you're posting this. I don't know what. It really doesn't matter. You are exuding. Like this person, a person could have saw you in the street and let this person know. Like, yo, this chick or this dude, he look good. Somebody has been waist training. I'm, there's a person here who, who waist is slimmer. I don't know if you like to wear like... uh those garments that uh like waist trainers or girdles or whatever this is it doesn't matter you looking snatched okay um that ain't telling me something else going back to um a specific night that is telling me to go back to a specific night for somebody in specifics if you woke up and you had and you had a night out and you were drinking and you were with this person or you were around people and you woke up and you ain't really had no clothes on You may have been with your man, so you may have thought shit was sweet. It wasn't sweet. And I could be speaking to an Aquarius or someone around an Aquarius, okay? Uh, something ain't right. And if you don't remember what happened that night, I advise you to backtrack or ask the people that you was around, okay? Because somebody did something. And it could be rolled, it could have been rolled up in something anyway. Um, a Leo could have been involved in this time. But anyway... So you, so this person, one of the people that, that I'm picking up, right? 
this male energy. Who is this? Who is this to the collective? Who is this? It could be, it's different for everybody. For somebody, it's a specific Scorpio, especially looking at this butterfly, this transformation energy. There's somebody here who wants you to respond to them so bad. Well, this is a, a, a person who you put a death to. It could be a Taurus or a mother figure or, or a, a or something like that. Somebody who you put it into. Somebody who you could have had a child with. I'm seeing this lady here with her child trying to protect her child from this individual. Whatever. This person wants you to back, go back and forth with them. I'm living my best life. And I ain't going back and forth with you. I'm living my best life. I, I, I'm hearing you got a lot to be smiling for. Smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. This person could be watching you. Looking at your pictures or something like that. Hearing how you living. Seeing that you are doing things gracefully with the six of pentacles in reverse, you're not, you're no longer responding to this person or you need to stop responding to this person. It doesn't mean that you're speaking to this person, um, directly. It's like you could be saying, ah, like that to this person, or you could be just saying that period. It doesn't matter. This person likes attention whether it's good press or bad press this person doesn't care this is a this is somebody who thrives off of attention this is this could be a zombie okay like a um a, a duppy this is this is a this is a vampire because what they're telling me here is that you need to surrender this because they're feeding off of your responses to them in between you looking damn good okay <laughs> And they're feeding off of it. So starve your enemies is, is the, is the, um, yeah. What did I say? Communication. What did I say? Communication. Starve them. There's no, those, there's no need to respond. This person could reach out to you because they feel like you don't care about them no more. Whereas early in the morning, I put breakfast on a table. This could be somebody who you was in a relationship with and you did a lot for them and you would give them the shirt off your back. And now you only, you flipping them the bird because it's like, I don't, I don't, you can, you can care less about them. Okay. This person may try to reattach themselves to you. All right. Somebody name may be King. Yeah. Compassion. Like there could be somebody who may try to reel you in, call you. Somebody could be 33. But this person could try to call you or some, something like that. Uh, they telling me like with this energy of 99, you're almost done with this person. A hundred percent. This person's going to try to come back from the day where you left them. Or they could have left you for dead. And they mad because you didn't die. Look at this. Karma completion. They go that 10 energy. Like I said, 99. Look at the bottom of the deck. This is where you, this is where you, 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 you need to be. Karma completion. You need to be done with this person. Show me this person. Like, they mad because you're not giving them attention, whether good or bad. They telling me that you need to protect your energy from this individual. You do. Because this person is so mad that you looking good, feeling good. Yeah. It's like this person um, wants to affect your happiness. They don't like it. Smile, bitch. Smile. They want to put a stop to your happiness. Heavy Scorpio energy. They want to bring you pain. Look at this pain at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's teeth could be bleeding or something like that. I'm, I'm uh, some uh, uh, this person. Somebody got hit in their mouth or something. Somebody might. Somebody got a big nose. Big nose. Big nose. This could be a person who tried to steal from you or something. Or they could come to you and tell you somebody stole something from them. This person could be coming to you wanting help. This could be one of those people who... This could be somebody who uh, needs your help now. Is what it feels like. Show me. surrender with the surrender and abundance here it feels like this person stole from you heavy scorpio okay it feels like this person stole from you somebody may have stolen from them now and now they come like like whatever this is it's like either they stole from you or they did some something petty or they did something malicious or whatever the case is and it's like why would you do that this person felt like when they did it that it would ruin your life but you over here like smile bitch i got a lot to be smiling for okay 
I'm living my best life. I'm not going back and forth with you. This is somebody who you who you would allow God to handle. Because if you handle it, you'll be in jail, okay? And this person wanted that. Like, it feels like this person wanted you to respond to them. This wanted, this person wanted you to, to scream from the rooftops, you stole from me, you cheated, you lied, you this, you that. Because they want to see any reaction out of you. And that's how you know that this person is a vampire. They wanted any reaction they could get out of you. Ignore them. Ignore them. They, this person wants to be back in your, in your circle of trust. They want you to rest around them. They want you to feel like it's okay. It's okay for me to allow this person back around me. They need me. Yeah, what did I say? They want you to be comfortable. They want you to be comfortable around them. You need to reject this person. Because this person is, is, is only coming back to, to stick the knife deeper and then twist it this time. Because this person really wants you to be upset. This person really want you to be upset. Sorry, my phone. Manifestation. Yeah. Like this person is trying to. This person can say something like, yeah, um, you know, I'm sorry I did this to you. And but here, but but here's a token of my appreciation or something like that. Like this person may try to front like they want to make things right. Yeah, you see with this energy of manifestation and passion, this person could be trying to get you back in the bedroom or whatever the, the, the case is because you stopped loving on them or you stopped giving them your genitals or you stopped uh, talking to them. You don't have love for this person no more. They were thriving off of that love. They were thriving off of the hate as well. They were thriving off of you. Some of you guys need to get my cord cutting bath and also inquire about the cord cutting bundle. Um, check the description box. You'll see my email or by the time you see this video, the cord cutting um, bundle may be up on the website. But it's important. I remember I did a, a reading uh, recently stating that your soul is keeping your enemy alive and that you needed to break ties. Starve them. Cause this person, how do I live without you? I want to know. How do I breathe without you? If you ever go, how do I ever, ever survive? How does person go survive? How do I, oh, how do I leave? Listen, this is a, a, a vampire. Please tell me, baby. Look, surrender communication with this person. How do I go on if you ever leave? My baby, you would take away everything. Need you with me. This person gonna be begging. My baby, don't you know that you're everything good in my life? Yo, this person, please, this person lying, okay? Tell me now. Person gonna be like, how do I live without you? Girl, boy. Please, please show this person where they could go. Respectfully. Respectfully. Or don't even, I'm don't even, I'm telling you like the best response. This person is no response. You see this energy of pride? You see this energy of pride? Choose yourself. Choose yourself. One of the things that they telling me is like this when this person was effing you over, this person was very prideful. Is what I'm getting. They were very, very prideful. So when this person is groveling at your feet, right? When they groveling at your feet or they saying sorry or they giving you whatever apology or whatever, whatever lying ass communication they, they about to give you at this point. Think about what happened to all that pride. Think about that. Ask, your, ask yourself that. Okay, what happened to all this person pride? Because when we was over here, you was doing me dirty and you was fine. When you left me for dead. But now that you see I done glowed up. And now that you see that you're not affecting me. I'm living my best life. I don't need you. I don't care about what you stole. I don't care about how you cheated. I don't care about who, who and what you did behind my back. I don't care. I don't care. Now, now, that, they, now that they see that, now they coming back. Because you took your power back from them. You don't tell me how to feel. I determine my feelings. 
You don't tell you don't tell me how I how how to deal with whatever you did to me. You don't dictate how I am to and I, I even said that today um out loud. My happiness is a choice. I choose to be happy. I have a I don't give a fuck attitude because it suits me, okay? <laughs> okay. Cause I let God handle everything and everyone in every situation. If you hold on to this, it hurts you. And that's what this person wanted. They don't care whether good or bad. They want you to hold on to them, the thought of them, hate for them, the need for them, the disdain for them, what they did, the trauma that they caused, anything, wanting them back, anything, any little bit of a mustard seed, okay, of a thought, of faith, of whatever you have in this person, they're feeding off of it. Make them stall. Make them starve. If I was you, I would make it so that this person can't even see pictures of you. Go look at your own self. <laughs> Word. Go look at your own self. The ten of swords and the two of swords. This person wants you to be blind to something. They want you to be blind to the facts. I, I, I'm here. I'm hearing like this person think you stupid or something like that. Yeah. They don't want you to heal. They want you. They want. They want you to constantly. It's heavy Aquarius energy in here too. Ten of, ten of cups in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse. And, and 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 the hangman in reverse. This is delusion right here. Who? What is this? This is delusion. Denial. Delusion. This is trauma. This is like living in a dream world. You are my money, no intuition. They trying to pull a wall over your eyes. This person could have even did some sort of um manipulation to, and this is what I'm saying. This is that energy of somebody put something in a person drink, or they put something in a person smoke, or something like that. It could have been where somebody was just waking up or something. There's something here where somebody tried to block the nature of your of your intuition. The reason why they did this is because they didn't want you to have no self-love. I'm also hearing that with this physical activity here, this person could have did this through sex. This could have been the um, former you, okay, and now you're in a different energy. Or this could have just happened. You could have been coming out of a delusional type of state in, in reference to this person. I'm hearing love is blind and it will take over your mind. What you think is love is surely not. You need to elevate and find. Somebody's elevating from this. And this person thought you could never get out of it. You know, some of these, some of these people be thinking they players and they be thinking that they, you know, king of everything and and, and it's it, it's queen shit and they and, and, and HBIC and all that other stuff. If you had to use magic to manipulate a person into being under your rule. I don't respect it. You didn't play the game right. You didn't. I only respect somebody who could tell me what they what, what, what to do because they could tell me what to do. But if you back here stealing my energy and then and then using it to bully me, or or or, or if you need me to stay alive because you're a vampire, you don't have no soul of your own. Why 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 are you? Why should I feel like you're above me or you want in any sort of way? No, no, you're a manipulator. You're a manipulator. And if the only way that I feel like this person could have won or the game could have been fair is if we was dealing with two people, two manipulators. If I wasn't playing the game and you was, how you going to feel like you won over me? I was dumb, deaf, and blind. You had to, you had to render me that way. You had to roll me up. You had to roll something up in my smoke. You had to uh, hand me some shit to drink. In order for me to be in this, I just heard catatonic, catatonic state. In order for you to pull a wool over my eyes. You didn't do it with your charm. You manipulated, you lied, you cheated, you stole. You poisoned. So this person is waiting for you to say something to them. They don't like how whatever, whatever bondage, whatever bondage, let's close this up. Whatever bondage was was holding.
Is this, I'm, I'm hearing they thirsty. This vampire is very thirsty. Starve them. Thirsty for your attention. Starve them. Somebody smoked something more than weed. It's in the weed, but it's something else inside of it. I just heard crystal light. That's okay, because I was born in the 80s. Look at this. With this energy of turn away and healing, this is somebody who's connected to... Um, this is a vampire. Every time this card come out and it's in a negative sense, is a like vampiristic. Okay, they all share your energy. Whatever group this is that this person is connected to behind your back, they all share your energy, and you need to turn away. Turn away, turn away. Yo, speaking of that song, right? Um, Clueless. Remember that movie Clueless? Again, I was born in the eighties, and um. There was a guy who felt like all the girls wanted him. His name was, his name was, um, damn, I don't know. But Cher, she was the it girl and he was, I guess, the it boy. But she didn't like him. You know what I mean? She turned him down or whatever and he was pissed off. And um, kicked her out of his car because she didn't want to be with him. This is what that feels like. This feels like somebody punishing you because you, you're turning them down. You don't want to deal with them. You don't care what they have. You don't care how many people think they cute. This person is now seeking your validation when, when you used to seek theirs is what I feel like. You've taken your power back and now the tables have turned. Child, I hope that helped. 